Welcome to part two of Unpacking, an indie puzzle game about unpacking your house. I want to finish the game today, so let's go ahead and jump in. Okay, recap time. The game starts off in 1997, where we unpack our childhood bedroom. And then in 2004, we move into a, what I assume to be a dorm now that I look back on it. 2007, I got a couple roommates. I moved into their place. 2010, I moved in with a man. I call him Kevin and I hate him. He didn't give us any room to place our stuff and just in general was like so inconsiderate and mannish. Not a fan. But in 2012, I ditched Kevin and moved back in with my parents. And in 2013, I moved into my very own place. And that is exactly where we left off. So this is my house. I guess I'm still in the same place. This is like the same apartment layout. Now I did unfortunately read the comments and I had the game spoiled for me a little bit. I do know that we are now living with a girl. Kinda cute and exciting. I'm glad to have somebody else living in this place with us. It's kind of adorable. And I love that we have ditched the Mayans. Also, somebody told me that you can put stuff on the windowsills. Now this is news to me, so I'm gonna start doing that from now on. How do I rotate stuff again? I don't even know. Oh, okay. I'm like mashing on the keyboard because I don't remember how to play. I think these have got to be someone else's boxes because these do not look familiar at all. I'm assuming it's the GFs. Okay, I guess one box down. Oh, we got a laptop. Hey, yo, laptop alert. Hello, that's cute. <gasps> Another umbrella. That was so cute. What is this? Is this an orange? Is it a coaster? Oh, I would assume that these are coasters. That's freaking cute. Okay, I have no more space for my Blu-ray DVDs. <laughs> Whatever will I do? Somebody also said that you can go into the settings and if you go into accessibility, you can allow items anywhere. Um, this will remove the puzzle element to the game, are you sure? Okay, somebody said that, you know, cause I complained a lot about, I can't put things anywhere that I want to. I don't know if I necessarily want that, like at all. But I just thought I would mention it in case anybody else was playing and they're like, oh my gosh, I did not know that. Very cool information. I at least thought it was very cool information. Not for me, but for thee. Our friend has a lot of movies. Movie buff alert. That's everything that we have in here. Let's do bathroom. Here I go again with my tactic of just throw everything on the counter and make it work. You better work, bitch. <laughs> Two toothbrushes in the cup. Stop. And unlike Kevin, I have plenty of room here for all of her things. Oh, and she even brought a bath mat. I love that. Two loofs. I have these things. I bought them uh, for my shower too, like these little suction cup hooks total scam alert i can't get them to suction for more than like two weeks it's a nightmare i don't know what else to do so i do not recommend suction cups <laughs> sweet so that looks pretty good for the bathroom i love it next up i guess we should probably do the bedroom it looks like we have one organizer for me and then one organizer for her it's so cute she brought her own stuffed animal i love her already i wonder if we get to meet the people in this game, like me and her. Not Kevin though, I don't wanna meet him. Not very interested, no thank you. <gasps> what is this guy? Oh my God, I love him. I want my own one of those. What is this, a walkie-talkie? Who are you walkie-talkieing? Two walkie-talkies, you can talk to each other from across the house. Walkie-talkies only over. Where do I put this thing? I don't even know. I'm sure that the game will tell me actually. It's okay. Okay, backpack. I don't know what to do with you either, so you're going on the floor. That's my best solution here. God damn it. God damn it! And I kind of love that she matches all of her hangers. I do the same thing because I can't stand not having matching hangers. She's just like me for real. Oh, it's nice to see we have an addition, two additions, I believe, to the chick families because these chickens do not look familiar. New chicks alert. And we also got a new chick living with us alert. So I found a place for everything except for this so far. I'm going to leave it there and then just let the game yell at me. Now the kitchen is my worst nightmare. I'm gonna be honest. However, learning that you can put things on top of the windowsill and on top of the fridge, like, who's gonna tell me that? I'll put the scrubber just in the sink because I can't do this anymore. Okay, steamer basket. I shall put you 
up here. Oh, that's so cute. I love how that all stacked. Also very nice touch that I had to take everything out individually. Is this a magnet? Oh, cute, sunflower magnet. A little poop magnet too, yes! Huge fan. I like this girl, way better than Kevin. Somebody had to say it. It was gonna be me. Oh, and there's pictures of us on the fridge together too. That's cute. Okay, um, and then this monitor, I guess needs a new spot. I know it's like really off center, but I really don't care. So you, yes, you. To me, it looks like it's a jewelry case. Will it let me put it on top of something? Yes, okay, it will. But it will only let me put it on it weird. This is not gonna work not gonna fly you guys i guess we have too many things hanging so that i can't rotate it maybe it's gonna bug me to no end that it's like face the wrong way you know what sometimes you just gotta let go let god <laughs> it says that this is perfectly fine so okay moving on i hope we stay together forever now we're moving on to 2018 i don't know how many years later this is oh my gosh cute okay so we got like our own crib that's like elevated. This is super nice. It looks like we're a little bit more like a suburban vibe. We got a backyard, tons of kitchen space, very upgraded, very nice, very cool. Still got an office. Wow, this is a big undertaking. Okay, <gasps> is that a baby room? We had a baby. I love this game. Shut your mouth. <gasps> no way. The pig plushie. It's the babies now. Well, you can't put plushies in the crib. Sorry, I hate to break it to you. That is not okay and not allowed. So the plushies are gonna stay on <laughs> the chair. A binky because it's a baby. Okay, there's like a shitload of blocks here. <laughs> I just gotta say. How many blocks does a baby need? Okay, and then we've got diapers. Nice. More blocks, Jesus criminy. <gasps> Cute pig painting. These guys look like fun parents. I like baby rooms that have like color and life and fun to them. I don't know if I love baby rooms that are like all white or like neutral colors like damn live a little not to be a hater or anything live your life oh my god more fucking blocks um i'm kind of running out of place to push it to be honest well this is cute okay um can i just put that shit on the floor they're like hey baby just go play on the floor for a while <laughs> go crazy this is the best this is the best day of my life I love that this is happening. Another box down. We got our last one here, a pillow. Okay, you guys, we cannot have stuff in the crib. You're gonna tell me to put stuff in the crib and I'm gonna tell you guys what, that's very dangerous for a baby. I'm assuming though, maybe this is like a toddler or some shit. I just don't know, I, I was not given enough information. So this is what the baby room looks like right now. Um, it will probably change eventually, you know? So the next room I think we could probably conquer real quick is the bedroom. There's not a lot of box in here. That's good. Oh, we got a printer. Shit. Oh, I'm crumbling. I love that we are still maintaining our inner child, even though we are with child. And we still do yoga. <gasps> we do yoga together. Cutest game ever. Freaking serious. So, yeah, I'm putting this backpack in this closet. Look at that. Walk in with built-in shelving. The epitome of luxury. Okay, we've got all of our chickadees. You have a bunch of little pictures. Oh, we love horses. Look at this gallery wall situation, wow. Okay, bag, more chickadees. Jesus Christ, we're starting a chickadee army. Oh my God, does this one have a bow tie? Shut your face. Okay, and another chickadee. It's a little too close to this guy's butt, I'm gonna be honest. They've got the big chicken here, ayo. Oh my gosh, even more? This one's got glasses? These are my favorite people ever, I love them. So naturally, I think we should just go ahead and move into the closet. I need to be able to see everything in order to fully, truly realize my potential here with the unpacking game. So right now the goal is to just get it all out of the box. I love also the matching hanger situation. Very good, very good. I'm confident enough to start putting dresses on these hangers. It wouldn't let me slot the dresses up top. Perfectly fine, because that's not where I wanted them anyways. I wanted them downtown. I also just decided to go ahead and put like the panties in the smaller drawers. Makes sense, no? Easy to die for, no? Oh, big backpack, shit. Oh, luggage, you're joking. This is a daunting task, but I think I'm doing pretty good to be honest. Okay, this is most definitely a PJ top, a PJ bottom, more brawl, more panty. What am I supposed to do with all of this information? It's gonna bother me if the 
Panty drawers, if it's gonna overlap into two drawers, they have to be right next to each other, right? Yes or no? I think it's a resounding yes from me. Ah, I'm getting overwhelmed, there's just so much. All right, this thing's back. I remember you, how could I forget? So I have two drawers filled with bras now. Please, for the love of God, do not give me any more, okay? Two drawers full of panties, oh, thank God. Thank God, I think we're done. There's no way this game can give me an uneven number of stuff. My life would be ruined. <laughs> a safe? Oh, nice. I'll put that in the back of the closet. Most definitely not where I keep my safe or anything. You know, just thought I would mention that. <laughs> I can put a lot of these blouses up and hang them so they don't get wrinkly. Oh, wow. Okay, all my drawers are filled and I still have a couple t-shirts. Are all my drawers filled? Yeah. Yeah, they freaking are. What are we gonna do about it? You know what? That is okay. It will have some overflow of t-shirts. Perfectly fine. Okay, um, you know what else is gonna bug me is where am I gonna put all this luggage? Move all of these puppies over. This is so satisfying. Yes. We have a jewelry box up here. And then these shirts, yeah, they just, they have no home. Sometimes you gotta make sacrifices. I'm gonna use this bedroom as like an overflow room of stuff that I don't know where it goes. <laughs> okay, the last upstairs room is this master bath. <laughs> Look how fancy and modern. I wonder what these people do for a living. Okay, big oof, big floor of this bathroom. Not a lot of drawer space. Perfectly fine. We'll figure it out because we do have a this medicine cabinet. All of our creams from before. Weezers. Look at all those pots. Oh, geez. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. You gotta go. You don't belong here. <gasps> we did get a rubber ducky. I'm not totally sure what this is. Maybe just like hair stuff or possibly bath toys for the baby. I'm not sure. I don't know. TP. Gotta go over facing toilet. We talked about this in my last video and you know a lot of you guys did agree with me this is the only way what the f what is this is this a mop bucket anyways um potting soil at least we have our loofahs well one so far Ooh, laundry basket great idea more tp more loofy kind of gross that we have the same loofahs still anybody else think so or is that just me don't love that <laughs> oh, this looks like laundry detergent, maybe. I don't know where the laundry is. You know, I thought my character was getting a little bit better at packing. It was giving me a little less anxiety, but um, I hate to say it, I'm a little disappointed this time. I think we could have done better. Okay, this is all stuff I have like no idea what's going on with. <laughs> I know for sure the pizza, the Leaning Tower pizza goes in the living room. The raid goes in the kitchen. Maybe we'll move on to the living room next. I've kind of decided the best strat here here is to do the kitchen last. <gasps> Whoa, I had no idea that the toothpaste could also go in the cup. That's awesome. Fabulous news for me. But doing the kitchen last, I think, is a little bit helpful. <laughs> you know, if there is a strategy that needs to be had for this game, because the kitchen is kind of hard to slot. Let me take this leaning tower of pizza and we'll go to the living room because the upstairs is good. Movies, video games, books. I don't even care anymore. I hate doing the books and the, all of that junk. Still got our GameCube controller. I know I'm not a bookshelf girl, but the movies and the games I think can stand to be right next to each other. Who's with me? Oh, I think before we only had one Wii controller and now we have two because we are girlfriends. Well, maybe we're married now. That's huge for us. Oh, you're kidding me. The kettle? Oh, give me a break. Okay, guys, um, this is ridiculous. What is? What am I expected to do with all of these games and movies? Also, what happened to... I had like a little basket that I could put the cane in. I guess I could totally put like some books up here. But I think that's what I'm gonna have to do to fit all of these. <laughs> okay, if I want them to be all beautifully upright, I have to do it one at a time. I swear to God, if there's not gonna be enough room to slot all of these, Ah, I'm gonna freak out. You're kidding. Really? Really? Well, that is our living room, folks. Looks pretty good. I think that there's like this, yeah, there's this little entryway. We could take care of that real quick. I didn't even realize that all of the shoes were not in the closet area. Okay, yeah, what is going on here? I have nowhere to put my cane. I have nowhere to put, oh, I guess um, maybe I should just not complain about things. I'm going to get the cane, by the way, putting it in 
the basket. <gasps> a towel. Oh, you're kidding. Okay, this is cute though. Black cat photo. I love that this family loves little tchotchkes. Like, yes, let me slot more junk. I'll take all of it. The office I think is probably the most fun. Mermy. Okay, those look, these look like kid albums. That's cute. Are these, yeah, are these supposed to be albums? I don't know. Um, well, there's so far five, six, seven, Jesus. Okay, wait, that baby cannot be seven years old. Fan theory, game theory. That cover of the book was the same as maybe these guys. Maybe they're very, very big fans of that book and they just happen to own seven copies. Or maybe, I mean, this is kind of a reach, but maybe they made the book. Oh, Jesus Christ. Eight copies <gasps> and a poster. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming that maybe they are indeed the author. Look, I mean, the little pig and the little other guy. There's so many animal things. What if they base the book off of that little piglet? It all comes back to the piglet and the diploma. Through you, Kevin. I'll never forget what you did to me. I promise I'll fix all of this in a minute. <laughs> Gosh, more easel. Hey, chill on the art stuff, okay? <laughs> this is my award for best author because I wrote the pig book. Finding room for everything is a nightmare. Oh, see, look at that. The business card has a pig on it too. I think that we correct the code successfully. Alrighty, look at that. It'll work. Oh, a little, a little half bath. Oh, matching soap for both bathrooms. That scratches my brain so good. Second to last room. Ooh, where did these wine glasses come from? Did we steal them from Kevin's? Oh, the whales are making another appearance. I never figured out, I don't know if anybody maybe commented this on the last video, never figured out what the whales are. What is that? Is this another drawing pad? <gasps> and another laptop. Okay, we do got the menorah. Can I put it by the window? Toaster. <sighs> We got a new one though. Something to look forward to. You know, we're moving on up in the world. Okay, placemat, placemat. Seem like off center and weird. Now I don't know what to do with all this junk. I'm gonna <laughs> leave that on the floor. Move on to the kitchen. All of the random miscellaneous stuff definitely stresses me out. Oh no. This is not a kitchen item. Ooh, another windowsill plant. That makes me so happy. Okay, pots and pans. This is where I start to crumble. Mm. And baking sheets. Toilet paper, really? You know what I just remembered? We used to have a little stag beetle that I wasn't like the biggest fan of or anything. I just kind of remembered that he did indeed exist and he's gone now. So rip stag beetle, I guess. Fuck! Giant ass microwave, you're joking. Oglay. Ooh, we got more baking sheets. Love that. <laughs> Gosh, there's blinking red in every single room that I'm in. All right, so what the fuck? <laughs> what am I supposed to do with all of this info? See, this is where the puzzle part comes in because I am very puzzled as to why this isn't working. Hey, um, this could go in the office, the globe, but I think everything else in this room is happy. Now, what's going on here though? Can this laptop be in here? Where can this laptop go? Where did she come from? Where did she go? Where did she come from? Oh, that's fine. Okay. So this laptop can be in the living room, but whatever you are, you have got to find a home. Oh, and it seems to be in the office. Living room. What did I do wrong here? Oh yeah. Electric kettle. Um, shove it somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the baby room. Let's see what's wrong with the baby. Okay, blocks. Do you wanna be on the floor? Is that better for you? Okay, blocks on the floor, better for them. You know what, I'll even do something cute and have them be like offset like that. All right, so I guess we're putting pillows in the crib. Hey, the game wanted it, not me. It's starting to get dark outside. I guess this took me all damn day. I am so, I don't even know what to do from here. Okay, this laundry basket, could it potentially go in the closet? No, it does not like that. How about the bedroom? No, it does not like that. Was there a laundry room somewhere that I just am not familiar? <gasps> Plot twist of the century. What the fuck? Okay, well, I guess there was an entire laundry room in here. Definitely super smart, and I definitely totally knew this was in here. I'm so embarrassed, I totally didn't even see that. I am kind of getting sick and freaking tired of unpacking. Moving is one of the most stressful things you can do in your life. Just remember that when you feel like it can't get any worse <laughs> during the moving process. Are we joking? Is this it? Did we? <gasps> we did every single room. They all looked so good. I think 
Baby room is probably my favorite. Ayo, house check. We're so looking forward to meeting you. Oh, okay. Not even born yet. Interesting development here. What a beautiful life with my beautiful wife. Wait, is it done? Oh my goodness, I'm so... There's okay, this is beautiful. Wow, door. okay. <laughs> She's singing. Um, I really hope I don't get claimed for this song. <laughs> I wasn't recording when the end of the credits came, but there was a very cute, beautiful LGBT picture at the end. So I'll show that to you now. And it made my heart very happy. So glad that we did not end up with Kevin. And instead we ended up with a beautiful, wonderful lady and had a beautiful, wonderful baby. Good vibes. Anyways, um, don't forget to come check us out on any other platform, Instagram, Twitch, Twitter. I hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so and I will see you in the next one.